everyone welcome back to my channel tech and art hope you guys doing good today i'm going to talk about sql server activity monitor okay so we'll see uh, what are the things we can do through the activity monitor so before starting the session whoever newly joined on channel please like to subscribe and don't forget to share please visit the channel playlist sql server dba you can get uh, n number of videos which can help you to day to day activity and as well the interview also i have specially covered couple of videos which can help you to interview okay let me start and let me connect my ssms okay so uh, i have connected here and we'll see uh, what are the things we can do through the activity monitor quickly it's a so easy okay and it's a very helpful tool okay so uh, for activity monitor right click on instance you can directly click on here or else you can directly uh, click on, on this button okay activity monitor so when i'm once you click the activity monitor it will uh, the interface will be like this okay and uh, from here you can see uh, the first section is a process okay so what are the process running on a particular instance you will get it here with along with the login names and all okay you can see the database name you can expand this uh, tab like this uh, so the database will be task status and the you know all the things you can command you can get it here and the mostly you know uh, the blocked by if any blocking will be happened on a particular database uh, you can get the session here id okay along with the command and all okay so you can extract the all those parameters and you can easily get the benefit okay so similarly uh, like that the resource weight uh, also you can see here you know oh, uh, so what are the resource you know highly occupied you can get it here under the resource weight okay and in terms of memory network io right latch log and buffer latch so these are the parameters basically you need to understand each and individual's parameters okay then only you can get the benefit okay i cannot cover each and every parameters in this video the disk io also you can get it here if any disk having the low response you know the io is too high so you can get it uh, what are uh, which disk having the you know uh, mostly read write is happening and response time is slow what are the response time in any particular disk you can get it here okay so which is also helpful to during the performance analysis the recent expensive queries which is highly recommended actually uh, what are the expensive queries running on a particular database you can get it here okay and uh, you can check the queries and uh, query execution plans and uh, you can discuss with the application owners this query is highly consuming on a particular database so during this performance analysis which is very helpful to recent expensive queries the active expensive queries also you can uh, extract it from here which is very very helpful to do the same like performance analysis tuning when you are doing the performance tuning on a particular database these four or five uh, things really really required to do the analysis okay so hope you got the point what are the benefits we can achieve from the activity monitor although we have a number of queries we can get it uh, from the you know uh, queries uh, or the reports but still activity monitor also very helpful uh, to do the analysis of all those parameters right when especially you are doing the performance analysis and all so you can get it uh, this from this way okay you can uh, you can directly uh, you know pull the reports also from uh, here and directly do the analysis okay so hope you got in uh, next video we'll meet you soon till then bye bye thank you